Hi and hello to this new video. Today I have compared two manual sharpeners, how they work with sharpening pastel pencils. It's first the Koo Connect and the second one is uh, the Swordfish Icon. So I have tested them, how they work, and I show this here to you in the video. Before we start, I invite you to join my free drawing workshop. Let's draw a blue cat eye, a dog nose, and fur together with pastel pencils. The workshop takes place December 4th to December 6th. You can find the link below in the description. Today I want to test these two manual sharpeners here. Many clients ask me how we can sharpen the pastel pencils best. I personally do it with uh, the double metallic sharpeners and with the craft knife. But there are also these manual sharpeners available here with a crank where you can turn the crank then while sharpening and um, they should work really well. I have here first the Cuckoo Neck and also this one from Swordfish, the icon. Some of my clients have tested them and they are very satisfied with these sharpeners. So I have thought I order them and test them. You can also uh, fix them on the table. So let's test them out. Let's start here with the Cuckoo Neck and let's put here a pit pastel pencil in. The pit pastel pencil from Faber Castell here. You can here um, push this button and place here the pencil inside of the hole. And then we have to press it a bit and then we have to turn the crank and press the pencil a little bit into the, the sharpener and then let's see what happens. Yes, they work really well. We just have to press this a little bit here into the sharpener. When it is fixed on the table, this is a bit easier. Yes, it works. The sharpening makes this crank, but yes, it lasts a while. It works really well. The pencil is very sharp. The blades are sharp. So why not using this? If you are used to um, turning the crank and using this sharpener, this is a nice version also to sharpen your pastel pencils. Let's then also try here the swordfish. It's the same technique here. So let's also put here a pastel pencil in. Place it a little bit more here to the right that you can see this. Let's also put here the pencil in and then Okay, let's then turn here the crank and push the pencil with a bit pressure into the hole and turn the crank and let's see what's happened. Yes, they create an amazing sharp point here, you see. It is working really, really well. Let's also test the Carpotello pencil here. Let's put it here into it. And then press it a bit into the hole. I do this with my thumb. And turn the crank. And let's see what's happened. Yes, it is working really well. Oh, this one is broken. You see this happens from time to time. 
that our pastel pencils break so this is no secret I can show this to you this is normal sometimes the lead is broken inside the pencil so let's do this again here let's sharpen this once more let's turn the crank let's see what happens Okay, yes, maybe a little bit more that we really have a very sharp point. One, two. Yes, so it's really working. So why not using them? Let's test once more the Coo Connect here. Let's put a pit pastel pencil in there. Put it in and turn the crank and then yes it is working but batteries for me here with these two I have here um, batteries the swordfish icon so I can highly recommend this one I um, have not tested it how long the blades are sharp so they are new ones so how long they are working but they create really sharp points as you see for me to be honest it lasts a while of course you have to be you have to become used to turn the crank and to to sharpen your pastel pencils manually but um so if this is your favorite um, option, your favorite method to sharpen your pastel pencils, why not trying them out? The price point is so around 20, 25 US dollars. So they are affordable if they last a longer time. My um, preference meth method is, or my favorite method is uh, using the double metallic sharpeners and a craft knife. But it is really worth to test new things out. And I know uh, many artists have different preferences, different favorite methods. Every artist is different. So test it out what you like best and what's your favorite method. So I can recommend here this uh, swordfish icon. It's, it works. Uh, you don't have to use a lot of pressure here or force to put the pencils in. The crank works really well and yes here then uh, is here you can then remove the waste. So I can recommend it. So I hope this um, test of the two sharpeners is helpful for you. As I've mentioned, for me personally, it lasts a little bit long to use to use it manually. So I'm quicker just to use these double metallic sharpeners here and to sharpen the pastel pencils. But uh, I know artists are different every artist is different and if you prefer to use it try it out test it i can highly recommend this one from swordfish so it's really sharp and test it try it out invest in it okay so i hope you liked the video click the subscribe button if you liked it and then i see you in the next video and don't forget to join my free drawing workshop. It's a three days drawing workshop. You can find all the information in the link below in the description. It takes place December 4th to December 6th and we draw a blue cat eye, a dog nose and fur together. See you soon.